Hi friends. Well, I'm sitting here at the steering wheel of my RV in southern Arizona at our son's house. And uh, couldn't put the slide out last night. That's this thing here. Because I'm sitting in the street. Uh, we're going to move down there by the barn as soon as we get a tractor to scoop out some of the sand that got washed in by the big monsoon wash uh, about a month ago. Got good news and bad news. The bad news is that I hurt my back and so I'm kind of laid up. I'm going from laying on the couch to sitting here in my comfortable driver's chair, but I'm not doing much walking, bending, or sitting in any other chair. That's the bad news. Uh, take me a few days to get over that. The good news is that uh, it's going to give me plenty of time to <laughs> sit down and edit a video for you. So I'm um, trying to look at that positively. I want to start today's video by uh, welcoming several hundred people who have checked out my channel. Uh, we spent a couple of days with our friend Camper Van Kevin and him uh, putting us on camera and giving us a shout out to JC Travel Stories has resulted in, uh, like I said, several hundred people checking out the channel. So welcome. Uh, I hope you find what I do entertaining. Uh, and uh, maybe even uh, worthwhile. <laughs> uh, since there are a number of you who are new to my channel, I thought I would start out with a little montage today of just uh, parts and pieces of my life. You know, Lynn and I enjoy uh, two very different lifestyles. We have a home in uh, Ajijic, Mexico, on Lake Chapala, south of Guadalajara, in the middle of Old Mexico, up at 5,200 feet. We spend summers there because it's cool and um, it's the rainy season and big lightning and thunderstorms, and uh, it's a very wonderful place to be. And then we uh, contrary to what a snowbird does, snowbirds go south in the winter, we go north in the winter up here to Arizona to our RV. And uh, anyway, uh, welcome to the channel if you're new to it. And uh, if you're not new to it, you'll know that this is one of those videos where every once in a while I just have to clean out the iPad that I edit my videos on with uh, what I call potpourri, <laughs> random clips. So we're going to start out with that today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. There's this one thing I have to play for Lynn every morning. That little kookaburra bird has changed my married life. Starts off every day just the way it ought to be. <laughs> this is our home on the shore of Lake Chapala in Jalisco, Mexico. My old economy car. Our front yard with the pool out towards the lake. That palm tree right there with all the dead fronds hanging down is gone. We had to cut it down. We've had a plague, a plague here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Palm trees, it's a larva that's killing the trees, so we've had to cut some down. I'm taking a walk down towards the lake shore. Every once in a while there are some cows down here enjoying the greenery. Are you tied to the fence? Huh? <coughs> Beautiful swallowtail butterfly getting a drink here on the shore. That's water hyacinth, that green stuff. 
Lirio, they call it here. That's towards Chapala, the south shore of Lake Chapala. That's about eight miles across right there. Like I said, this is a video of random clips cleaning out my iPad. This is a shot of a Mexican cemetery near our home. Mexican cemeteries are very different from in the United States. I have a video walkthrough of this one. If you're interested, go back and look for it. I like to cook. Got a few cooking videos. These are my stuffed peppers. And this is a poblano pepper casserole. It's kind of like chili rellenos in a casserole, but lots easier to make. One of the great things about living in New Mexico, of course, is the food. This isn't something I cooked. We're out to eat at a taco stand. Hey, we're having fish tacos and al pastor. Fish and al pastor and al pastor, al pastor. And you got a little pineapple. Finally, you got a little pineapple on your taco. Yes, sir. Where are we in, are we in Hawaii? <laughs> all, the, no. all the fixings. Looking good. Sure tastes good. Yeah? Outstanding. Outstanding? Very good. Guess where I am. <laughs> Another of the great things about living in Mexico, of course, is the affordable dentistry. This is my dentist Enrique at Dental Express in Ajijic. Uh, our cleaning was about 200 pesos. That's about uh, $10 U.S. dollars. Hi again. Well, I told you in the beginning of video that I was having trouble with my back. And yesterday I had a really good day and was up and about and walking and working. And I had a little setback. So now I'm laying on my couch working on a, working on our video for you. Uh, in my last video, I apologized if I sounded like I was selling real estate when all I really was doing was enjoying tours of homes for sale uh, and assuring you that I was not selling real estate. Well, now I'm going to show you a, a, a little video that I made about a restaurant in Ajijic, and it's going to sound like I'm selling the restaurant. No, not selling the restaurant, selling the food of the restaurant. And as a matter of fact, I have an ulterior motive for this. I am kind of selling the food of this restaurant because uh, I want this restaurant to be successful and stay here. Uh, there used to be a restaurant here called El Serape in Ajijic, Mexico, and uh, the guy retired. And it's been a couple of other restaurants here at the location of the old El Serape restaurant. But this new one, uh, it tried a couple of other menus, and now it has returned to being what El Serape always was, not Mexican food, Tex-Mex. You know, enchiladas, rice, and beans, and that kind of stuff. And hey, it's good. I'm including this in the video because I want the locals to go and eat there. And the reason, again, is because I want this restaurant to be successful and stay. And restaurants are having a hard time these days with uh, COVID. The El Serapi building that was there for like 20 years at the top of the hill in Ajijic, it was Bobby's for a while, and now it's the Mexa Bistro. Buenas tardes. Hello. Hello. Are you the owner? Yes, one of the owners. What's your name? My name is Adrian. Adrian. You must be Jerry. You know Jerry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adrian, I, uh, as we already talked about, I would have a YouTube channel and I would be happy to put you on because, I'll tell you why, I want you to be successful because for many years, we were here, for 20 years, this was, as you well know, a Tex-Mex restaurant called El Serape. Yes. yes. And um, I ate here like a month ago, and it was very, very good, but it was definitely not what you have now. Uh -huh. You changed the menu. Why? Well, uh, we want to make, a, uh, we see the, the people they want to have uh, here, they like more comfortable. They want yes. to feel like home. 
Right. So the other menu was really, really good, but it was more like a fine dining. Yes. But uh, this is more like the, the idea that we want to bring here, more like a comfort food, Tex-Mex. We want the people they feel one part of their home. That it's we, here. we have a lot of fine dining restaurants here in Ahihik on the North Shore of Lake Chapala, but we don't have Tex-Mex. Yes. You know, yeah, people come down here and they say, well, I want to have some Mexican food. They don't understand that Mexican food in the United States is not Mexican food. No. It's Tex-Mex. Exactly. And I, Lynn had enchiladas tonight with rice and beans. She loved it. Right. It's like, and you know what she says? She said, oh, it's just like it used to be here. Oh, perfect. And I had puffy tacos. And I have to tell you, I've eaten tacos all over Mexico. I've eaten tacos all over the United States. I've been to Spain eating tacos. I never had a puffy taco before. I never had it too. <laughs> what? what? Uh, well, where'd you come up with a puffy taco idea? Well, one of my customers, when I was talking with him about that we were thinking to make a, a Tex-Mex food to change the restaurant, he said, oh my God, this is a really good idea. I used to have a lot of Tex-Mex food in Texas. Yeah? And he told, he gave me a lot of ideas, a lot of menus. And he told me about puffy tacos and sopapillas. I never heard about that. Yeah. Both are really good. So even we make a tasting with him and yes. with him, his family. Uh, last week, uh -huh. because we want to be sure that the food it was the most um, near of the Tex-Mex food in the states, and they really love it too. They say, oh, "This is this is really good." Well, I had the one with the chicken and the green sauce inside. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. And when I was biting on that, that's when I decided to come and find you and make a video for you because. I want you to be, as I said, I want you to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. We know because this is difficult times. Yeah. We started the pandemic. It's yes, really I know. difficult. And that's one of the reasons why we changed the menu. So with this menu, I think Mexican expats, yeah. both, they like that this food. Yeah. And we have a big table right now for Mexican family, and they love it, the food. Even they said that it's the best nacho that they ever had. So that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank you, Gary. Well, that's enough of our life in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. This video is long enough. I'll make the next one a montage of our RV friends and our RV life as we tour around Arizona. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.